Hello everybody, I am Maria Vlasiace. I come from Georgia and I'm studying at the University of Tartu. The point of this video blog today is that I'm going to share my personal experience about living and studying in Tartu. So first of all, I'm going to talk about uh, the city of Tartu. Uh, Tartu is a small town, walkable distance actually. Uh, and we have really good uh, public transportation system, red Tartu buses, and actually you can have really good cheap discounts as you're a student, you can have uh, monthly discounts like unlimited rides for 8 euros, around 8 euros, and it's really good price here, and I personally use this as I live a bit remote from the city center, but like a uh, most favorite transport uh, system, transport here is a bicycle. And if you like health lifestyle and eco-friendly transport, you can of course uh, try to find one second-hand bicycle, uh, which is at around prices uh, range around 50 euros. So it's not that expensive. Uh, here is basically everything in the city which, which um, you, you can ever need. For example, if you have some free time, you can go to Galicia Crossmates in cinema, in theater. There are uh, several pools, swimming pools, and also saunas, as it's really traditional culture element of, um, uh, of um, Estonia. Um, so, what's more and really key aspect here? If you really seriously consider to live here and study here, don't forget that we have really cold winter outside and be ready for this. And especially when, if you come from warm countries and you are a warm lover like me, so grab and bring as many warm clothes as you can. So they will be really useful. So we covered all aspects which I wanted to share about um, Tartus as a city. Um, one more thing is about um, flat renting here. So I don't have dormitory experience and I can't sh share and uh, explain the situation there, but there definitely we have some student residents and most of the students are living there. So, but I live in a flat and uh, how I found this flat. If you consider that and you think that you would like to live in a flat, um, the first thing I, I, my suggestion is to add yourself in a Facebook group Foreigners in Tartu. And this is a Facebook group and uh, there are people who are living for years in Tartu and they know quite a lot of things about the city. And you can just easily ask them like I did. Uh, and I just uh, write a post and what kind of flat I'm looking for and what is the, what is the price and so on and so forth. So according to re replies, I just picked the one which was more suitable for me and quite affordable price and I'm super satisfied of my choice. So flat renting option was really easy for me and I can say that quite successful. So my suggestion if you would like to rent a flat, add yourself in the Facebook group Foreigners in Tartu. Uh, as for studying at University of Tartu, I can show you all the classroom here. This, this was one of the classroom which was used uh, for one of my courses. So you can see that basically in the classroom there is everything which is important for successful studying and um, like a educative uh, environment and atmosphere so the, the place is quite comfortable for students and um, the, this is a building of Schutte Institute which is the main building of my faculty European Union Russia studies um, and the, the, uh, the first thing that I want to point out is um, teaching staff here and uh, academic stuff. So this is really important because uh, as soon as I get here, I didn't know many things. I had lots of questions and they were really helpful and uh, they answered all my questions. And 
because they always were saying that were saying that don't hesitate come and ask any questions um, you would like to be answered so this is really friendly approach from them and really helpful for students which are coming from different part of the world yeah this is another point that here it's really international atmosphere like uh, in my class we are people from different age of the world from America from uh, Mexico uh, Italy, Georgia, Russia, and so on and so forth. So, really international atmosphere and you have really nice cultural experience at the same time of studying as well. As for courses, they're really interesting and there are some comp compulsory courses, but you also can pick the courses which is interesting for you and even from different faculties as well. And um, so there is a Moodle electronic system. Uh, once, you, uh, once you're a student at University of Tartu, then you have um, your personal, um, like uh, you can register in the Moodle and your, with your account. And there are all the courses which you need to cover for semester. So you don't, it's really convenient. You don't need to search for anything, just you, watch in and uh, there is uh, all materials and all the presentations which were used by uh, lecturers like uh, by uh, sorted out by each week um, and uh, courses are really interesting and um, I can say that the, the approach is really diverse so we have uh, some presentations, some group works, individual papers, so you can develop any kind, lots of kind of skills here, like uh, how to present your topic, how to write good uh, academic paper, uh, and professors are really professional, and not only that they teach, they, their teaching techniques are really well qualified, but their attitudes towards students uh, is really professional and I like this most that here at University of Tartu any kind of commitment is acceptable and they really appreciate our work, students' works. Mm, this is about university of, and courses here and the uh, last point which I want to talk about is um, application process. Uh, so, application has opened on 2nd of January and will stay open till 15th of May, uh, in March, sorry. So, there is lots of time to get ready. Uh, the basic documents that they are asked for are motivation letter, uh, diploma, like a bit from previous study, and it's transcript, translated and certified one and English language certificate, such as IELTS. I had, personally, I had IELTS, and also um, application fee, which is 50 euros, so you need to upload the receipt of uh, this application fee once you pay. And uh, basically that's it the general documents, then you can add any kind of uh, certificate that you have, uh, like uh, from, I don't know, from some uh, presentations or extracurricular activity at university and that you think that will be helpful and will consider the plus during the selection process. So the final results um, will be on 15th of May, so you will be informed about your uh, results of your application. And good thing, uh, and easy thing about uh, application process is that you can be uh, granted by scholarship. So uh, once you are applying for your uh, as a student at the University of Tartu, you can just uh, tick the box that you would like to apply for scholarship as well. That's it. You don't need to do any kind of additional work for for, uh, for scholarship. 
so there are, there you can gain the scholarship which called which is called the tuition waiver uh, which, which I have and it means that you are not expected to pay for your studying uh, and the tuition is a three uh, thousand and four hundred euros per year uh, or there is another scholarship as well which called which is called the uh, dollar plus and um, it's uh, the amount of money is uh, 350 euros per month and basically it's uh, for covering living costs here um, this is about scholarship and uh, totally for European Union uh, Russian studies we have 15 places for newcomer students and uh, eight of them will be granted by tuition waiver scholarship and um, the studying like a fall semester uh, will start on 2nd of September and once you get accepted then they will send you and they will inform you um, about the, the all the information what you need to do and how you can arrive here and they're really helpful and they basically cover all necessary um, aspects which newcomer student needs to know about the city and the university itself so this is what i wanted to explain to talk about in this video blog i hope this will be helpful for you and good luck of course and see you here in Tartu. bye